friends, Debbie here with Debbie Gets Crafty, and welcome to my uh, little substitute for my live today. Uh, I am so sorry, but it has been a really, really long week, and I was really just physically and emotionally exhausted, so I thought I would at least film a nice unbagging, unboxing, on doing video and uh, you know share some time with you and I do appreciate uh, your understanding and so let's get to it let's just adjust this light there we go and so we'll start out with this is what my husband Todd got me uh, last week uh, when he did his grocery haul from Walmart. So we're going to unbox that real quick. And then he got me this painting from Timu. And then I got an order from Timu. And we'll do an unbagging of that in just a moment. So let's go ahead and put that aside. And we're going to open this up. So this, of course, is the Diamond Dots. And that is called Mountain Retreat. Isn't that gorgeous? And I'll tell you a story behind this. Let's go ahead and unbox it. He got this at Walmart for $9 and I think 88 cents, $9.88. And um, so I have had, and I know this is going to sound crazy and probably not many of you are going to buy into this, but I have had for many, many many years, most of my life, I've actually had a reoccurring dream. And in this dream, here's your toolkit with your with your beads, and we'll get into that in just a moment. But in this dream, and it's more, friends, it's not really a dream. It would happen to me when I would lay down to start to go to sleep. And, um, I would close my eyes to go to sleep and for some reason I would have an image in my head that I was sitting on a back porch looking into some woods and it's just always it's happened to me for as long as I can remember and it's the same vision that I have just before I fall asleep I'll shut my eyes and this vision pops into my head and I saw this particular diamond painting online and I said, oh my gosh, I said this to Todd, I said, oh my gosh, that's almost exactly like my vision that I have. The only difference is this has autumn colors in it and my vision is usually more of a, uh, almost like a summer vision where everything is in full bloom and it's green and, and you know, stuff like that. But you're same type of a porch and I'm looking out into the into the woods and the only like I said the only difference is this is all autumn colors but I'll tell you something I I couldn't draw it myself and have it come out any closer than this painting right here so let's take a look at the painting and then we'll take a look at the drills and he he listened because um, and well, I asked him, I said, you know, if you're ever out at Walmart and you happen to see this picture, um, please, I, I would love it. And he found it and he brought it home for me. So of course you get your paper with your instructions on it as Diamond Dots often gives. And it's in three languages, English, French, and Spanish. And let's take a look at this picture, friends. Hang on, let me try to let me try to get this to lay a little flatter. It's got the felt background to it, that very soft felt background. There we go. All right. It has 31 colors to it. Friends, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I absolutely love that. And I'll tell you something, it looks amazing on camera. It looks amazing here, but it looks truly stunning on camera. 
and this is almost exactly you're just looking out now my vision it's more of the forest less of like this this little valley here but honestly I, I couldn't have asked for something you know any closer it is so stunning and the design size is a 12 by 10 inch which is 30.5 by 25.5 uh, that's the design area where you paint the fabric area is 15.2 inches by 13.2 inches which is 38.5 by 33.5 isn't that stunning let's take a look at the drills Lynn Diamond Grandma this is going to be a fall y'all for sure And I will be hanging this in my living room. So you get your toolkit, your boat, your pad of wax, a squishy, and a single placer pen in a nice resealable bag. And here are the drills. They're gorgeous. I'm not even going to bother to put this away. This is going to go right into a portfolio so it'll have a chance to straighten out and relax because you will be getting done, my friend, very soon. And there's the first train. Look at these beautiful, rich fall colors thirty one colors in all absolutely stunning second train and then here's the last. Beautiful. I already see some static in there, so I'll have my static sheets available. But that is that painting. Isn't that beautiful? I can't wait. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. So that's my diamond dots painting thank you honey from my handsome hubby all right so now let's break into the next painting that my husband got me he got me this from timu and i didn't even know these were a thing until he told me about them and he showed me one day he said oh look at that that looks like a quilt and i said oh my gosh I gotta have that and the next thing I know he says it'll be here in a couple weeks and then I had to go and order some you know one for myself a similar quilt looking thing but in a different pattern so go ahead this is a 40 by 40 here are the drills I'm not going to take these drills out Nice, muted, warm colors. You get your standard toolkit. And I'm just going to take it off camera and roll it. Sometimes I roll it, sometimes I don't. Depends on how I feel. Today I feel like I want to roll them all. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Doesn't that look like a quilt? That is so cute. I could picture myself and my husband and my dog living happily right in that house. <laughs> absolutely. It's country. It's quilt. Oh my gosh. I absolutely love it. 
So let's go ahead and relax this canvas. There's 18 colors. Uh, let's see here. And they are letters, but they are not alphabetical, which is fine with me. I don't mind. There we go. Just give that a little relaxation. It's had a long trip. And there's a little bit of color blocking. There's a little bit of confetti. Not much confetti. I mean, there is some confetti, I must admit, but it's not very much. Definitely workable. And to me, it doesn't feel like a 40 by 40. I mean, it is a 40 by 40, yes. But to me, it doesn't feel like it's that big. And that's okay. There we go. Excellent. So I'll flip her around. There we go. And, ooh, the stick is very good. Okay. It's got that really pretty sparkly canvas to it. And it's your typical, you know, canvas. Not too soft, not too firm. So it's really nice. So that's the canvas that my husband got me. And we'll do a little drive-by again on the colors. Very nicely muted colors. I think they're going to really look pretty. Very country. So there's that. So we'll set that aside. Okay, now we'll get to my order. So, since we did one other, one of the other paintings in the quilt style, we'll do this one. I'll set this bag aside. There we go. This is also a 40 by 40. This one got a little, little bit folded, but that's all right. I'll stick it under my, uh, my stash, my typical toolkit, standard, standard GI issue. Again, very beautiful muted country colors. And I'm going to take this off and fold her up. And this was just a different type of a quilt looking style. Isn't that pretty? Almost like a sampler, you know? I love it. And what I love about those two paintings, these paintings here, I love this little border that they have. It just reminds me of a quilt and the quilted type designs, the squares, how they make the, them look like stars and everything. So pretty. And then the different houses. Isn't that pretty? Let's go ahead and we'll flatten this out. Give this a little rest. Stick is good. The saran wrap could be a little thicker, but that's all right. We'll be gentle. This has, it also has 18 colors. It's also all letters, but not in alphabetical order. 40 by 40. And this is the only painting that I got. 
I do have other diamond painting uh, items, but this is the only, you know, fairly large canvas that I got. So I'll show you that one more time. I love it. Oh my gosh, it's going to look so pretty with the other one. So there's that. All right. Now, let's go ahead to what's next in the bag. So I went ahead and got three more of these containers. I love these little mini containers. I just want to see something because it seems like these containers might be a little smaller than the ones that I already have. Give me one second. Uh, let's see. Uh, yep, here we go. Okay. In my keychain collection, my cardinal keychain collection, I do have... Okay, and let's compare. I mean, they're the same size this way, but don't they look like these containers are a little smaller than these containers? Is it me or... I don't know. Let's take one out of the bag. And compare. All right. So... So you get 28, just like these, let's go ahead and grab one, I mean, they're, pr they're probably the same size, they just, these are a little shaped a little bit different than these so I guess that's I mean they're the same height and everything they just look a little more I don't know they look a little odd to me yeah maybe not maybe I'm just imagining things but they kind of looked a little different maybe they're shaped just slightly different but not much okay so let me put this back And I got three of these because these are great to do for, to keep for, um, partials, to keep for special off the canvas projects, to keep for rhinestones. I love them. You know, I have a whole ton of them over there for my projects that I'm working on. So that's what I got these for. All right. So we'll set those aside. And what do we have next here? Okay, I got myself a diamond painting pen. And the thing that's different about this pen is that the tips screw in. I know the thing opens up and I'm not going to cut it. There we go. All right. So let's take out these tips first. Come on. I got you in here. There we go. And then we'll take the pen out. And the pen is a pretty pink, purple, iridescent. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. I love it. The sparkle. The sparkle. All right, let's take a look at these tips. I thought these were going to be metal tips, but they're plastic. That's okay. I'll still use it. I'll still use it. I'll still try them. The only thing is, I don't think it came with a four placer, which is the one that I really like. This is not a four placer. I don't think it's got the numbers on it. I thought it did. Nope, maybe not. Oh, maybe it does. Give me a second. Oh yeah, it does. You just can't read them. 
This is a three placer. I know this is a six placer. This looks like a nine placer. Yep. That's one of those crooked little nubby ones. Don't like those, but eh, I might try it sometime. This is probably what I'll put on the one end, that straightener. And then it's got a single placer. So I'll probably use that one. And all you do is screw it in. There we go. And while I'm at it, might just as well go. So I have a single placer on the one side and I have the straightener on the other. Nice! Okay. That will be added to my little collection. I've never used plastic tips like this. I'll keep these and put these in my uh, tip bag. I have a bag that I have with metal tips and all that jazz, so that's where these will live. There we go. Nice. And the last two items are going to be... So I saw... Oh, yeah, that's it, two items. So when I saw these, I had to have them. These are miniature pictures. They come pre-bagged. They're square, which I don't mind because they're only mini pictures, so I don't mind. I'm not a big fan of squares, but since, like I said, they're the mini pictures, they'll go together pretty easily. You get your standard toolkit. And here are the pictures. Isn't that pretty? Different landscapes. Egypt. Statue of Liberty. Now to look at them with the naked eye, it looks like, you know, I mean I can tell it's a Statue of Liberty, but it is a bit pixelated. But when you're looking at it on camera, it looks much better. There you go. I'm going to do that one first in honor of the Olympics, the Eiffel Tower. So these are, this is this set. It's a set of six. It comes with your uh, template of your colors. There's 30 colors that will be used throughout each of the pictures. And there are numbers 1 until 9 and then A through Y and they are in alphabetical order. So that's nice, and they do have the DNC, the DMC code. Let's take a look here. Oop, stick is good. So these are really cute. And again, here are the colors, all packaged up, but I will put them in. I'm going to use this, uh, one of those containers. Oh, I might not be able to because there's 30. Mm -hmm. Well, now. That's all right. That's okay. I might just leave them bagged up then. No worries. So that's that set. Keep that right.
right over here. And I'm going to ask you to hold for one moment. Give me just one second and I'll show you the last item. And I'm back. So let me grab the last item for you. Just had to take a little sip. So this item is the same uh, concept. It's the smaller pictures. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. And I did open this already. Yes, I did. I wanted to show Todd what this was all about. So we'll go ahead and take out the package. These, I think, are a little higher quality, which is fine. You know, these there's nothing wrong with these right here. Nothing wrong with them. They're going to be fun to work on. These, I think, are just a little bit more higher quality, and you'll see with the... Uh, well, you can see with the box that they came in. And uh, let's see here. How do you open? How do you open? Here we go. Uh, maybe not. Yep, there you go. Okay. So, with this, you get two standard toolkits. Is it me or does these look bigger? They're the same size. Okay. So you get two standard toolkits plus, I like that, you get a set of baggies as well. Nice. So I'll put those over there. And let's see. This gives you some instructions on diamond painting. You get two sets because, of course, there were two sets of drills, uh, two sets of uh, pens and such. We'll set those aside. And we'll go ahead and look at our, and see how you can tell, I mean, these are cut much nicer, much more even. These are a little, a little less than straight with their cutting, but that's fine. I'm, I'm nobody else is going to see them but me anyway, so. But let's take a look at these. So you have your Taj Mahal. Mount Fuji. Looks like Holland. And I see a little bit of... Hmm. Yeah, there's a little bit of dirt on this canvas. That's okay. I'll take a little baby wipe and just gently rub that uh, dirt out. That's okay. It's not going to hurt anything. Stonehenge. This statue, I know this statue, and I cannot think of where I've seen it. But it's very famous. And then Greece. Aren't they beautiful? So I'll be working on these as well. Can't hardly wait. I'm very excited about that. I'm going to put this one on top because I do have to work on getting that little dirt stain out. And that's fine. It'll be, it'll wash out. It'll just a gentle little rub with a little baby wipe. And let's look at these drills. So I'm not going to take them out of the bags. We already know, you know, if you know, you know. So these are the drills. They are square, beautiful color palette. Very colorful, very bright. So I'm really excited about that. And that's my haul. So you thought we were done, didn't you? We're not. I'm actually going to go ahead and kit up these little tiny ones right here because I do want to start on the Eiffel Tower. I'm so excited about that. So I'm going to take a moment to grab a container that I can put my drills in and I will be right back. 
Okay, friends, we're back, and I decided to use two of my new containers, and I already pre-numbered my stickers, and I still have a pen on the side in case I need more. So let's go ahead and get started. There we go. All right. There we go. So I wanted to do that uh, that Eiffel Tower one. The Olympics has started, so I thought that would be fun. And we'll see how that goes. There we go. So, I'm sorry that I'm not live today with Judy and Robbie. It just was a really long week at work. And by the time I got out of work, I was just exhausted mentally, physically, and I just was not up for it this weekend. So, I decided that I would pre-tape a show and share it with you all. Todd will be doing a grocery haul. I'll be showing that uh, probably tomorrow. I was just, by the time I got out of work, I was just too tired to even film the grocery haul. So he set aside everything in the fridge and the freezer that he wants to show and then set aside the non-perishable foods where we could grab them and show you. So I have gotten a lot more hours at work. I start earlier and I I start earlier and almost get out the same time that I did before they switched my hours, so I'm working like 11 hour days. Oh, I usually put these on the bottom. There we go. So, it, needless to say, I am wore out. They ended up letting somebody go, so... That's going to add to my workload. But I love what I do, so... There's that. Alright, number six. And I'm going to keep these bags, too because whatever's left will go back in them. Number seven. <clears throat> I love those little miniature ones. As a matter of fact, I ordered a couple more sets. They'll be coming in soon. Plus, I think one or two more diamond paintings. I was doing so good. I went, I think, a couple of months without ordering any Timu. I even ordered a collapsible camp toilet. The price was right, and I have a camp toilet when we go camping. Because of my mobility issues, sometimes, you know, it's a little difficult for me to try to make it, you know, up to the restroom. So, we, in our tent, we have space for a little camp toilet. And uh, we did have one. We, we still have it. But it's a very bulky, you know, it's not collapsible, 
so it took up a lot of space when we were packing up the you know the Jeep to go camping this one is very collapsible it even comes in a little bag and it has the bags that you put in to line it and um, then it comes with a little packets of gel powder and it's good for like in the middle of the night you know if I have to use the restroom so during the day I can you know hobble my way up to the up to the restroom but in the middle of the night I hate to go out and it's just so convenient just to you know we even put a little shower curtain up in the corner of the tent and that's where my that's where we set our little camp toilet we call it the bathroom so and it gives me a little privacy and still allows me the convenience of having it right there so and I got it on a really good deal I was gonna wait and I figured you know what I might as well get it now because I don't I don't want to have to wait you know plus if I if we do go porch camping I, I want to you know have it on the porch you know to go porch camping as well because like I said with my mobility issues sometimes it's difficult for me to make my way so I want to have it available so and it was a good deal and I was like you know what I'm just gonna strike while the iron's hot I had a five dollar coupon from when one of my orders was late so I figured you know what I might as well put that to good use so that's what I got the toilet with <laughs> the camp toilet it comes with a roll of bags it comes with a set of the gel powder it's really nice Ooh, that one tried to escape no sir you're gonna go in there and like it there we go so but then I got you know these couple of things right here and and then I saw some more of the miniature paintings that I wanted to get at a really good price. And I thought, yeah, I had some price adjustment money from these orders that I already got. So I figured, why not? There we go. These are nice baggies too. Okay. Oh, I wonder if this is gonna fit in one. We might need two. Mm, you know what? Yeah, we'll put them in two. All right. Right. Let me just fill out one. There we go. So we'll put that on that. And because I'm using the second container, it doesn't matter. There we go. Perfect. Moving right along. Number 16. Had it right the first time. So, uh, yeah, I was uh, really good for a couple of months, I think. And then I got weak. Well, you know what it was? My husband always looks. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to place an order. He saw a couple of sweatshirts he wanted and I think a t-shirt, I'm not sure. And um, a watch winder, an automatic watch winder. So he got that, and then he got that diamond painting for me. And I was like, dang, I haven't looked at Timo in so long. Because he kept showing me different things, and I was like, dang. But that's the last I'm going to buy for a while. Because if I thought I didn't have time to work on my diamond painting now, up until now, now that my hours are changed 
and I've got added responsibilities at work. I'm really not going to have time. Pretty light baby pink. That's really pretty. There we go. Twenty. the reason why I put this in this container in this uh, boat because sure as God made green apples I knew I was gonna spill and I did there we go and I see I have a pink one some rain we needed it this time luckily instead of it getting hotter and more humid it cooled it down temporarily so that was a treat usually during these dog days of summer it gets so bloody hot after it rains this is going to be a treat I've not I do have my sunflower square painting that I've been working on slowly but surely mostly slowly and uh, that's a square I don't usually do too many squares but then like I told my husband I said you know these are small so because I'm not a fan of squares I know there's folks out there that'll work on squares rounds oblongs triangles who cares I am more of a round fan but these are small enough that they'll be manageable, you know. Twenty four. Really pretty colors. And I'll show you my completions when I get them done. We're almost done with this. Boy, that was a tough one to open. a bit these little containers. Here you go. 26. green. 
Reminds me of mint chocolate chip ice cream. <laughs> and now that'll do it for that container. And we'll grab this one. Flip it over. There we go. 28. Pretty turquoise teal color. There we go. Twenty nine. Number 30. I might need two for this one. I'm not sure. We'll see. As I spill half of them in the boat, you know what? Might as well split them up. And we'll just go ahead. 30. Okay. Definitely needed two, two spaces for sure. I have a ton of them that landed in the bucket here. There we go. There's one more there. Okay. So we are all set, all packed up. I will be working on the Eiffel Tower first in honor of the Olympics. And I want to thank you all so much for stopping by today and indulging me as I as I take yet another break this weekend. I am so sorry, but I wanted to bring something to you and uh, to fill this time that we usually spend each other with each other live. Um, but join us next week on Judy's channel, Crafting with Judy, and uh, we'll be back together again. The gang will all be there myself, Judy, and Robbie from Facebook fame. And please uh, like, comment, subscribe on this video. Please um, tune in next week to Judy's channel for our live and like, comment, and subscribe to her as well. And I promise I will be getting back to normal soon. And uh, I do thank you for your patience with me. Um, but I wanted to get something out there for you, and I do appreciate you all so much. Be on the lookout for Todd's next grocery haul. That'll be coming soon. And continuing to watch our uh, my sticker videos for the weekend, weekend fun sticker series, and our keychain collaboration with Judy from Crafting with Judy. I love you all so much. Thanks so much again for putting up with me. Uh, you all mean the world to me, and I love you, each and every one of you. Please take care. Stay safe. Have a great day. God bless. Goodbye now. Mm -hmm.